button and watch the video from the beginning to the ending and you will celebrate with me oh ha ha pim uh, celebration 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 i am jubilated i am jubilated roxy i am jubilating i am jubilating guys jubilate with me Oh my god, I am really super super happy guys. I am excited. I am celebrating I am jubilating because of what my prediction was right Roxy has won the ultimate reality TV show guys, please pardon me today. Please pardon me I'm not gonna edit this video immediately. I am done with the video I'm gonna upload it out there for you guys to watch because I know you all are sitting down there waiting for me to upload Oh my god, this is really really amazing. I am super happy. I am excited I don't want to cry because I am happy because I've learned a lot from this ultimate TV show And you guys have also learned how to tackle your relationship out there and I myself There are some of the things they have been doing there out there I have picked some of the things I can benefit from because sometimes I battle with my relationship so Rosie I have been I have been all through saying to myself that i don't know who deserves this but i wish rosie to win this ultimate reality tv show why because i have three things i base it on she deserves to win because number one she is no more young she have two kids she have been battling outside and you all know how it is in abuja especially when you are not the kind of person who goes out all the time for you to find love is gonna be difficult so rosie you really win this you really merit to win this all my prayers was, I don't know who is going to win, but if Rosie wins, I know that you deserve it. And Kachi, oh my God, Kachi, you are sweet. Kachi has already committed that she will marry Rosie within these three months to come. Why? Because they told him to commit that he will propose, he will engage and do a traditional wear wedding. From there, he will marry Rosie and they have to live in a brand new house. But that luxurious house. How are they going to stay there? They are going to stay there as a married couple for 12 months. If they don't stay there for 12 months, that means that the contract will be terminated. The house will not be for them. And Kachi has committed that he is going to marry Rosie. And that's the only thing he has been saying since day one. That even if I don't win this, I know that I have found love. And that was amazing. That was super, super amazing. Kachi, thank you so much. And thank you for all the followers who have been following this Ultimate Reality TV show from the beginning to the ending. Guys, as I said, I am not going to edit this video. So pardon my blunders. And please, if you know that you have predicted that Rosie is going to win this Ultimate Reality TV show on my channel, I already know you guys. And I, I'm saying thank you to you guys. Thank you for uh, believing in me. And thank you for following me. All my subscribers who have been following me from the beginning to the ending. I am saying I am happy. I am grateful. I am super excited at this moment. I am out of words. I don't even know what to use. And thank you guys. But if you are a Nigerian and you have been following my reality TV show. And you predicted that Yorosi will win. Please let me know. If you are outside Nigeria too, let me know. Because I have a surprise for you guys. It might be a token, but at least it's from me because I am happy because my prediction came right. I know I went out there, people were predicting, but I did my prediction by myself and I said to myself that, hey, you know what? I'm going to post this out and give token to someone out there because I have already had the feeling that Rosie will win this Ultimate Reality TV show and their love name is Roxy. Oh my God, guys, let us jubilate. Let us jubilate wherever you are. This critical moment we are is even what stopped a lot of things to happen today on the show because people were not there. They were just alone, but nonetheless, that was not the reason why they were there. They were there to look for their soulmate and they have found love. And I'm super, super happy that Rosy, your tears, are gone from now on because Kachi will love you forever. Kachi loves you since day one. I always say that Kachi, the originality he has is number one. 
I don't see any other person in that house who is really real like Kachi. And that was what I always say in my videos. And Rosie, I know that you have your faults. I know that you have some of the things that you know that people don't like from you. But she said something like that. She said that um, there are some things she does before, but Auntie has told her that these are not good for you as a woman. So stop them and lay them out. And do you know what she did? She really accepted what Auntie has told her because Auntie has 36 years experience in marriage. Whatever she says, it means that she has experienced it or she has seen someone who has experienced it. Auntie is just like a counselor. Auntie is just like a mother. Auntie is just like a teacher. And thank you so much to Dakori. Thank you so much to Oluwaseu. I am super happy, guys. I don't even know what to do. But I'm also happy that and I'm proud of Icareza because they are young, they are intelligent, smart, and outspoken. Today, they did not win, but at least it looks like they are winners as well because they took the second runner up, and that was amazing because they also deserve it. This was my observation that I, Kereza, or Roxy, they will be the ultimate love, and God has answered my prayers. My instinct, sometimes it doesn't lie to me. Whenever I feel like this is positive, it means it's positive. Sometimes when I'm feeling so negative in something, I always see negative things. That's why I always pray that all the time my instincts should be thinking something right and positive. And you guys have also tried for me. You have been watching my videos. You don't care whether you know me or not. You have been there out there to say, oh, what you did is right. What you say is right. Somebody even commented that to me that, Maram, I think you're supposed to be a junior auntie. The person is from Zambia and she's an old person. I am saying a shout out to you. I appreciate you. Sylvia, I appreciate you. And Kelvin, I appreciate you guys. Um, guys, before I will even end this video, I have to talk about the ones who have been checked out from the ultimate part. The first couple to check out today in the finale was who? It was Chivier. Chivier, they said that they were not expecting it. But unfortunately, they were the first to check out. And the second couple to check out was Double Chris. Double Chris, Double Chris. Even today, I will still repeat it again. Chris Will, I don't think he was real in the game. And you see what God has done. And everyone out there, you have seen whatever was happening in the house. Chris Will was just all over Chris, kissing, hugging. But when it was Thursday night to Friday morning, there was no hugging and kissing again. You guys, if you bet me, go and watch it on my Instagram page and see the relationship they had after Thursday night. So I really know that Chris Will, Chris is not her real choice to marry, but probably they can do business together. Probably they can be friends forever. So I don't know wherever Chris is going, but I wish her good luck and I wish her to meet her right man. And Bolar was the third couple to check out. And Bolar, oh my God, Bolale is sweet. Bolale has a heart of a gold. Bolale is always smiling. Bolale is always interactive. Bolale is talented. Bolale, there's a lot of things I can say about Bolale. Bolale did not win this show, but she was also my favorite housemate or love guest in that house because I have seen a lot of positive things in Bolale. People don't really understand her. They think she's lousy. They think she talks too much. They think she's not secretive. It is none of them. Bolale is just a free person. She say what she feels. She do what she want to do. She just talk to anyone. She thinks that everybody is a friend and which is not. And I think from Bolale, I have learned a lot. I will never trust people who are pretending to be friends to me. But how will you know them? Will you know that they are pretending? It is gonna be hard for you to figure out who is pretending and who is not pretending. But Bolale, kudos to you. Anor, I knew that you were playing game, but nonetheless, when you go outside there, you can choose your soulmate and leave Bolale to move on in life. But if you think that Bolale is the right choice for you, go ahead and marry her because you will have a good wife, a material wife. She deserves to be married. She deserves to because she is like a mother. Bolale is caring. Bolale can cook. I don't know what else can I talk about Bolale. If I want to talk about Bolale, I will not finish it. And it's all is because of my observation. Not even I know them. I don't know none of them. It's just through my observation and I predicted that Rosie will win and they have won. And Roxy will win and they have won. And you guys who have also predicted, I am grateful for all of you. You guys are amazing. Chivia, yeah, I know you are still young. You are still looking for love. I know that um, Chidi Banks love you. Chidi Banks doesn't even want anybody to come close to you because of the love he has found in you. You are always smiling. 
Shivia is always happy. Shivia is always minding her business. She's the only one I have seen that she always mind her business. Whenever it's necessary for her to talk, she talks. When it's not necessary, she doesn't talk. And she's business minded. She's business oriented. And she have a lot to do outside there because she's still young. Her age is 23. When she goes outside the house, there is a lot of things for her. I know that this period of time, they were talking about when they come out, the people they will meet, the transition they will do, the, um, the endorsement they will sign. But unfortunately, I don't think those things will happen at this point in time, this crucial moment we are in. But we will soon end this and we will go back to our normal activities and from there they can move on with their life outside. They won't be happy because they are surprised that a day like this is empty, the soul is empty. A day like this, they did not see their family members as they came in when they were going into the love part. And now they are uh, departing the love part, nobody is there to welcome them. But nonetheless, they have tried, they have done their best. Ike Kereza, I know that Ike loves you, you love Ike. But I think your love for Ike is more than Ike loving you. But there is something that I've seen in you guys. You guys have the synergy, but marriage, I'm not thinking that it will. Because Ike is not yet ready for marriage, and I know you are ready for marriage, but Ike is not yet ready. Ike has said it before, Ike said that he wants to be buoyant, he wants to be financially stable before he will involve himself into marriage. And it's not a bad thing because he's still young, he has a lot to do out there. So, distraction, so many things will happen out there. Teresa, take note. Teresa, take note because you are young and slim. But I love people who have, mm hmm. I don't want to finish it, but you guys know what I'm talking about. So, there are a lot of beautiful people out there who are waiting for Ike. I know that. I will come back here and tell you guys that somebody has crossed with who? I. So stay tuned. Don't go without subscribing to my channel and don't go without leaving your name on my comment section to tell me that. Madam, I was also part of the people who predicted that Roxy will win. So if you are the one who said that Roxy will win, don't hesitate to write me and raise your hand up. Because I've already got my names down, who have people who have already predicted that Roxy will win, and finally Roxy has win. And I wish them good luck, love, harmony, blessed house, and a lot of opportunities. And a lot of opportunities. And I wish the same thing to all of you out there, and to myself, and to everyone in the world. And I wish that God will heal this sickness in the world. God will heal this crisis we are facing. God will take good things to replace all the bad and the losses we have this period of time. And I wish that God will always guide us. God will always protect us. God will not take us astray but apart. God, you are the Almighty. You are the only living God. It doesn't matter whether you are a Christian or a Muslim or a pagan. We still live and believe in one living God. And he is the controller of everything right now. And I know that he will do his best to eradicate this complicated situation we are in because I don't want to mention the name of that thing because of my monetization YouTube don't like it and I don't want to offend them I don't want to strike as well so because of what so because of jubilation I couldn't even know what to do I had to on my gen I had to rust for everything so that I can post this video out I'm not gonna edit it as I said because I don't have light I am running Jen right now just because to please you people to know the latest update on Ultimate Reality TV show. So guys, stay tuned, be on deck, don't ever go, stay there because a lot of opportunities, a lot of new videos, a lot of crazy giveaways, a lot of discussions about life and a lot of inspirational videos is there to wait for you. So I love you guys and see you guys in another video. Bye bye and ultimate reality TV show. Bye bye. Whoop 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 whoop. I am gonna dab for you guys. Whoop 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 whoop. Roxy, you won the game. Roxy, you won the game. I am super happy. I am super happy. Teresa is eight numero uno. So Teresa numero uno. Teresa numero uno. Teresa is eyes numero uno. That was why I was dancing. Numero uno, numero uno, numero uno, numero uno. Oh, oh, you guys know the meaning of numero uno now. Number one. So, let's end it here. 
too much fun. I salute you guys. <laughs>